good afternoon students hope you understood sets and its example now we are moving to type of sets okay types of sets first one is empty set next is singleton set finite set infinite set equal sets equivalent sets disjoint sets overlapping sets okay first we are moving to empty sets empty set is a set having no elements empty set means that should be empty that set should be empty it should not have any element so its representation is this symbol is called phi or set symbol inside nothing having okay that is the symbol for empty set okay can you tell an example an example for empty set is set of all natural number between 1 and 2 is it any natural number between 1 and 2 no right so it should be 5 okay next we have to move to singleton set okay what is singleton set singleton set means that set contain only one element inside the set having only one element so an example for singleton set is set of all natural number between 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 what is a natural number 2 is there right so set 2 only one element should be is there so it should be a singleton set next we have to move on to finite set finite set means it should have only finite elements that means set inside having a countable number of elements okay you can count the elements in set that is set of all vowels a e i o u you can count the elements right so that is an example for finite set okay next you have infinite set infinite set means what you can't count the number of elements in the set okay so it is a infinite set set of all natural number is infinite set set of all even natural numbers infinite and set of all integers that and all an infinite set next you have to move on to equal sets equal sets means if two sets are equal means that should be number also equal then that elements also equal that is set a b c d should be equal to set c d b a it should be interchange and given the element should be equal number also equal so such sets are called equal sets okay next is equivalent set equivalent sets means two sets are said to be equivalent then its number should be equal no compulsion to the element should be equal okay its number should be equal so an example is set a b c d a equal to set a b c d b equal to set 1 2 3 4 okay both a and b having four elements that is called equivalent sets next we have to go on, move on to disjoint sets disjoint sets means it should have no common elements both a any two sets having no common elements means that is disjoint set that is set a b c d another one is set p q r s okay any common is there no common elements are there so it should be it is called disjoint sets next is overlapping sets overlapping sets any one element should be is common should be there okay in two sets any element should be common is there that is called overlapping sets okay so set p q r s next one is set r s t u okay so there should be a common r s is common is there right so it is called overlapping set so one more we can explain type of sets that should be empty set singleton set finite set infinite set equal sets equivalent sets disjoint sets overlapping sets hope you understood next is cardinal number of a set cardinal number of a set or cardinality of a set okay cardinal number of a set or cardinality of a set 
that that means number of elements in a finite set okay how many elements are inside the set okay you should count the number of elements in the set that number is called cardinal number of a set or cardinality of a set that is the number of distinct elements in a finite set is called its cardinal number okay it is denoted by n of a n of a if a set cardinality is finding n of a another set b you are finding is n of b generally n of a cardinal number of a set is n of a that how should you read the number of elements of the set n of a means number of elements of the set so for example if set a equal to set 2 4 5 9 15 how many elements are there five elements are there so what is the cardinality of a cardinality of a is 5 n of a is equal to 5 so what is the cardinal number of 5 what is the meaning of 5 5 you know right 5 is empty set symbol is empty set is it empty set having any element no empty set having no element so cardinal number of a empty set is 0 cardinal number of a empty set is 0 cardinal number of a set or cardinality of a set is represented by n of a 